Hey guys, Danny here. So in this particular lesson, we are going to discuss on how to optimize for CTR, otherwise click-through rate. We have been optimizing for click-through rate for the longest time, ever since the days of good old Facebook, okay? Ever since I've been doing lead generation, which has now been for over eight years, CTR is one of the main points that we look at in the KPI in order to kind of determine what our next step is going to be okay we heavily heavily focus on local and we've been doing this for you know ever since we really started and it's been working great and we've used the same strategy now over on TikTok, and it does it does well okay now there are some other kpis that are important to look at again the way we do things and again like i've always mentioned test 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 right the three t's you really have to look at the bigger picture the entire picture before you say okay like i'm only gonna look at ctr and that is it because again like i mentioned things change and even though we do primarily look at ctr when we optimize the ads and tweak things ctr is not the like the 100 final decision whether something is going to be changed or not because we have had ads that have had a low ctr but the cpl has been great the conversion has been great so it would be stupid for us to kill that if it's doing wonders in other areas okay so again Make sure you look at the entire landscape before you start making decisions just based on one single KPI factor, okay? But again, in this lesson, I'm going to discuss what we look at when it comes to optimizing for CTR. And if, you know, we get something that's lower than the baseline, a different couple of things that we look at and how the ads, especially on TikTok, really play a factor in what your CTR ought to be. So first things first, let's take a look at the computer here. And I'm gonna get to the iPad here in a second. So. This is one of our ad accounts that we have here uh, on just some of the campaigns that we were running. And I just picked a you know, couple here, a couple dozen or so, just to show you what the KPI looks like for or what the CTR looks like on some of these different campaigns here, okay? So as you can see here, you know, we have this ad here has spent almost two grand, has had a 2.34% uh, CTR, which is pretty good. So it's three, 1.15, 1.11, 3.02, 0 0.95, uh, over one over one over one over two over one over one under one here but it's still spending and it's still generating pretty decent results from what we are you know needing this campaign to achieve right now in general right generally speaking of course this really depends on the industries the campaigns the budget and so forth but generally we like to have a CTR of at least 1%. Now, I know there are a couple blog articles out there and some have been posted a couple years ago that, you know, have a much lower standard of what that CTR percentage would be based on the industry. For example, like in the medical space, I, I believe this was a couple years ago, maybe four or five years ago, there was an article posted that the CTR for the healthcare paid advertising space should be at least 0.65%. Now, in my opinion, that's really setting the bar super low. Again, what we strive for is at least 1%. If we're doing north of that, then we're good, right? As long as our other KPIs are in place too, right? CPCs, especially CPLs, and ultimately the results after the conversion. If it's south, if it's under 1%, then this is where the optimization comes into play. And this is really where this lesson takes factor in terms of what we need to do in order to optimize for a better click-through rate. Let's say you're not getting that click-through rate. What do you need to do? Well, this is what we're going to be covering here now. Now, TikTok, right? TikTok, like I mentioned before, 100 character max on the ad copy. So you really don't have a lot of play when it comes to the ad copy. So what does that mean? And this is one of the first things that we're gonna be covering here. Your ad copy, needs to be super specific. Okay. So ad copy P this is a P not an R ad copy needs to be super specific. Okay. Now, when it comes to the ad copy that we put on there, we literally just give them the offer. Okay. Again, this is TikTok. You know, the mentality of TikTok is that they're just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And if your ad doesn't look like an ad, then you're pretty much in the rotation. You're scrolling and scrolling. So as long as you have a good hook, good video, good story within the 15, 20 seconds or whatever, how long your video is, then your ad copy needs to be as specific as possible in order to get them to do what? To click on the ad, right? Because that's the ultimate goal with the ad copy and the creative is for them to click on it. Because if they're not clicking on anything, then what's the point? What are you even doing, right? So it needs to be super 
Okay, super specific. And like I mentioned, under 40 characters, right? Because once it goes over 40 characters, then that's where we start getting the dot, dot, dots, okay? And we generally try to stay away from the three dots. So we want to be under 40 characters, okay? So under 40 characters. Now, what happens when you're under whatever the baseline CTR is that you want to be, you know, optimizing for, right? So there's a couple of things that we can look at and after the module for requirement for success, you're going to see a couple of things that I mentioned about how to make effective direct response campaigns and different practices when it comes to the creatives. Those are going to be super important and that's ultimately going to cover the main core of what you need to do in order to have a super direct and amazing direct response ad on TikTok that just will convert really, really well. So quick tip here besides what the lesson that I'm going to be covering here, just look at, you know, just search for TikToks in your creative space, in your niche, and look for those that really high view count along with high engagement, high likes, high comments, all that good stuff. Those generally will do very well. Also underneath here, and this is something that I'm just now putting out, but underneath this video, you will have access to a spreadsheet that I am compiling of the top conversion ads that I've been collecting over on TikTok, okay? So actually, let me go ahead and bring it up here real quick so that way you guys can see exactly what it is because I really wanted to help you guys out. You know, this, this entire course is going to be growing over time, but the ultimate goal here is to have you guys get really good, amazing results, okay? So if you look here at my screen, you're gonna see a compilation and, and I've compiled, me and my team, we've compiled, let's see, over... 300, uh, 400, maybe 500. Let's keep going, right? Almost 600, actually, yeah, just over 600 different ads that are all conversion based on TikTok that have been performing really, really well, right? And I completely break it down for you with the, you know, the video, the type of creative, like the name of the creative that we, that we came up with a direct link to that ad. That way you can, you guys can go ahead and look at the performance, the region, some of the, the keywords of the ad copy that's included on there, the industry, you know, the real, real life industry, because we have the industry from TikTok as far as like the category. And then I have what I call the real life industry. Like, what is it really like, you know, yes, this is small and medium sized e-commerce, but it's really about clothing is, is what I'm talking about. Along with the objective, the format, the duration, uh, and then where you can download the video themselves directly, and then how many likes and comments and shares and so forth. So we've compiled over 600 different ads that have been doing really well. Now, if you go back to the requirement for success module and you go through the different frameworks that TikTok suggests and the ones that I've shown you, and you look at these videos here, you're going to start seeing a pattern. Now you want to be able to follow that pattern in order to have success. Now, ultimately at the end of the day, all this will help with your click through rate. Okay. But here, let's take a look at the iPad and let's kind of go over some quickly important things that you're going to need kind of a little a recipe here for success. So recipe for, for success for CTR. Now, first thing is going to be the hook, right? Obviously if you're into marketing, then you know you have to have a good hook, a good trailer, okay? Because at the end of the day, you know, if you're if you're into film, then you know like you have to have an amazing trailer in order for people to want to watch your movie, right? When it comes to the creative on TikTok, that's your hook. And your hook is like one to two seconds long. You don't have much time at all in order to really reel someone in very quickly on TikTok in order for them to just stay to watch the remaining of your videos. If you do not have a good hook, if you don't have a good introduction, then you're not going to do well with the creative part. Now, your next question is gonna be, well, how do I get a good hook? Researching videos, right? All the assets that I'm giving you are recipes for success. So the spreadsheet, you can view over 600 examples of really good ads that have done well. You're gonna be able to see the initial first couple seconds, follow those hooks. I've also given you the requirements for success. And then soon we are going to also have scripts on there as well that you'll be able to follow uh, and be able to create your own videos. And also in the bonus section, I've also created, I've also shared with you guys videos on TikTok that I've collected that have done well. And then ones that I've done myself that have also done really well too okay so the hook right so once you have a good hook you need to kind of compel a story very quickly on tiktok right so number two is going to be 
the story. Now, the story is going to be, you know, it has to be kind of juicy. It has to tell a purpose, right? What is the entire purpose of your video? If it has no purpose, it have to, as it has no storylines, then you're going to get people that will just scroll on by. If you have a good hook, but you don't have a good story to your video, they're just going to go, boop, see ya on to the next one, right? So hook story. Then third one is going to be the next part, right? What's that call to action that you're going to have? So a good call to action is always needed on your ad. Uh, the fourth is really going to be, uh, especially on TikTok, these are elements. I call these elements because these are other things such as, right? And we have trends. So different trends that you guys can do. Captions as well. Okay. Uh, and of course, visual elements. So these are things that are inside of your space when you're creating the TikTok videos, right? So hook story, good, strong call to action. Call to action is just telling people what you want to do, you know, what you want them to do. Going to click on the link below, fill out the form, and we'll get back with you soon. You know, call to action can also be in a form of caption on the video itself. Different elements, you know, using trends. Now, obviously, if you're going to be using trends, make sure you don't use outdated trends, you know, different captions that are, you know, on your video themselves and then just visual elements like i mentioned before you know background lights you know props whatever it is uh you don't want to just be in a plain room with no in with no depth uh, kind of like depth depth of field you just want to have visual elements that will capture people's attention at the end of the day the entire goal is to capture someone's attention to get them to watch the entire video and then at the end of that video to do something right and what that is is to take action in some form which is clicking the link, filling out a form. If you're doing lead generation, if you're doing e-commerce, then it's to obviously purchase a product. Now, if you, if you do not, if you do not have a video or if you've tried and tried and tried, get other people to watch your video and ask them, what is it about the video that they liked? And what is it about the video that they did not like? And also if you guys want, feel free to contact me. You know, I've been responding to people on WhatsApp, on messenger, on, you know, no, if someone emails me, emails me, then, then I'll go ahead and respond to them as well, but go ahead and send me your videos and I will give you, if, if this is something that will help you, I'll do a loom video and I'll go through through and kind of break down your video and give you points. And then I'll even go ahead and research other videos. If that's something that you want, just let me know exactly what it is that you're wanting me to do. Uh, but again, the entire purpose of you purchasing and investing into this course is for you to ultimately get results on TikTok with the ads. Okay. And I know the a big, big, big part of that, two big parts. And that's obviously going to be, you know, how to get started, which I've covered all that already throughout this course. And the second thing is really in the creative part. Okay. So go ahead, feel free, contact me if you guys want, and I will see you in the next lesson.